There's a secret to how I've made over $1.5 million in my boudoir photography business, and that's having the right boudoir photography setup. This setup makes your clients feel like they have to have their photos. I bought thousands of dollars worth of furniture for my business, and I'm gonna be honest with you, there are only a few pieces that I use every single session. And I truly credit these pieces to how I sell more photos and bigger albums every session. And that's why today I'm telling you my exact boudoir studio setup and this setup is gonna make you more money. Plus, help you make even more gorgeous photos. Hey, I'm Tracy. I help boudoir photographers stay forever booked out without the hustle. Be sure to grab my free guide outlining my five best tips for booking clients without Facebook ads. The first piece of furniture that will help you make crazy high sales in your boudoir photography business is my favorite setup. That's my cream chase lounge and my white fur rug. Please note that everything I'm sharing with you today is linked in the description below so that you can easily check them out and purchase them if you're ready. All right, let me show you. Now the cream chase lounge and the white fur rug, it's kind of one of those poses and setups that I'm pretty known for in St. Louis. But the one thing that I want to point out with the cream chase lounge, I love that color. It just fits my brand. It is not the color that you have to have, but I do think that it looks great with skin tones and almost every different color of outfits. So as far as like the actual lounge, like the chair or whatever, we want it to be curved. Do not get a flat one. You want to make sure that it's curved because it really curves her body and it'll show off her curves, her hips, everything. And it's just a really good chair to pose most of the poses that you do on it. There's another pose that I like to do on it. And then I like to put my girls on the floor in this kind of position so that it's just a great setup for these poses. But yeah, make sure you get the curved chair. Do not get the flat one. You will regret it. Are you ready to take your posing game to the next level? Be sure to check out my posing guide in the TLC shop, which is linked below. Inside, I share my favorite poses for all three setups. The second setup that will help you make crazy high sales in your boudoir photography business is a white sheet set. To make this setup even easier for you to move around, move out of your way for other shots, I like to set this up on the this floor. This is the same client I just showed you, so I just wanted to run through hers because I think that this shows how easy it is to set up and move my white sheet set, yet it still looks really beautiful. So I'm just going to run through these photos, and you can really see how easy my setup is. It's just a mattress on the floor with white sheets and then a mirror to the side and look how versatile it is. So I just wanted to run through that so that you could see that real quick. The third setup that's gonna help you make crazy high sales in your boudoir photography business is a dark sheet set for a moody setup. And this set I have set up more like a bedroom. It's my dark sheet set with the dark and moody photos. So I do put a fur rug over it just for a little bit of texture. So you can see it's just a darker, well-lit photo. But I also wanted to show you this one so you could see the full background of how I actually used the black sheets but see I still have it lit enough that I'm lifting some of the shadows so you can still see some detail there's a couple more it's dark and moody but still well lit remember even with a moody setup you can still light your photos correctly and for more information on this topic be sure to watch this video and finally I want to walk you through the equipment that I've used for every session since 2017 I have a used Canon 5d mark 3 that I actually bought from a wedding photographer used in 2015. I also have a 70 to 200 2.8 L lens that I also bought from a different wedding photographer in 2016. And finally, I have a 51.2 L that I actually invested in brand new back in 2017. As you can see, I'm a huge believer and you do not need to invest in your equipment to be very successful as a boudoir photographer or as a photographer in general. To me, I'd rather save my money for education so that I can learn to make more money with what I already have. I'd rather grow my business and become a great photographer, successful at what I do, and very, very profitable. And that's exactly what I did. I used the money that I saved from purchasing my equipment used instead of new, and I invested in two five-day workshops with Jerry Guionis, and then also a private mentorship with him in his studio in Las Vegas. And I also did multiple one-on-one -on -one workshops with other photographers that I respect and admire so much. And I've invested in having my own photography business coach 
since 2015. These investments have gotten me so much further than the equipment ever could. Now I have invested in some lighting equipment and if you want to know exactly how that looks in my photography business, be sure to listen to episode 58 of Sustainable Freedom with Boudoir Photography. This episode is called Natural Light for Boudoir Photography and I take you through my five tips to take your photos from good to great. And now you know the easiest boudoir photography studio setup. The exact studio setup that I have that has helped me revenue $1.5 million in my boudoir photography business. Be sure to subscribe to get notified on my next video, which is on photography editing tips for beginners. And I'm talking about how I can call and prep a full session in 10 minutes or less. And while you wait for that, be sure to check out these videos. If this was helpful, let me know and give it a like. Lainey says thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.